Welcome to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail called a Devil's Cut. Now, this was created by Pete Kendall at the Match Bar in London in 2006, and I would like to think he was thinking about the Devil's Cut. Having said that, let's talk about the ingredients. The first thing you need is a little bit of ginger, and you know what? I always suggest using fresh ginger where possible. Your next ingredient is some orange. Now, I'm using some mandarins. You could use navel oranges or any orange of your choice, just whatever you happen to have around. I also need a little bit of lemon juice, and we'll use some fresh lemon juice for that. Your next ingredient is all Canadian maple syrup, because is there any better kind? Well, maybe if you live in Vermont, it's from Vermont. Having said that, the next thing you need is a bourbon. Now, I'm using Old Forester. It is a 43% ABV or 86 proof. And this is a shaken cocktail. But before we get started, grab your knife, and what we'll do is cut off two slices of ginger and muddle them in the glass. There you go. Now, you don't have to muddle it too hard because when you shake it up, it will be broken up even more. What we're doing here is just releasing the juices. Now, you do need some maple syrup, and I was joking that all you needed was Canadian maple syrup. If you have some from Vermont or anywhere else, absolutely go for it. So what you need is half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now your third ingredient is a little bit of lemon juice. So what you wanna do is obviously move this out of the way, but grab yourself a lemon, and what we'll do is cut this in half and squeeze out one ounce or 30 milliliters into the glass. Now your fourth ingredient is the orange of your choice. And as I said, for this point, I am using a little bit of mandarin. Now, you could use a navel orange or anything else. I just like the color of the juice I get, plus the flavor. And this will allow you to make a varying type of cocktail that'll give you all of those little bits. And for this, we are going to drain out an ounce and a quarter, which is 37 and a half milliliters. Now your next step is to keep this little husk. That way you can use it for the garnish. Next, you're going to grab your bourbon. Now in this case, I said I was using Old Forester, but if you wanted to use something a little higher proof, like say a Four Roses Barrel Select, which is a 50% or 100 proof, that'll give you a little bit higher of a spiciness, and you can go from there. And you need two ounces or 60 milliliters. Your next step in the puzzle is to shake this with a little bit of ice. But you wanna make sure that you fill the glass full all the way before you shake it. So just top it up, make sure you got lots in there, then grab your lid, slap it on there, make sure you have a good seal, give it a clip and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand oranges, move that off to the side. And then grab yourself your favorite rocks glass. And what we'll do is we will add some fresh ice to this. You could dirty dipe it if you want. I just like having lots of nice, fresh, perfect ice. So what we'll do is just grab both your Hawthorne strainer and your fine strainer, and we'll remove all the chunks. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So grab your little bit of a orange wheel, stick it in there like so, and here you have the Devil's Cut. Oh, mm, really good. You get that bourbon and you get the spiciness of the ginger with slight flavors. The lemon and the orange work really, really together to hold it so well together. If you like cocktails like this, here, take a look at this. It's called a bourbon bird. 